Hello, so I got this uh, ESP8266 evaluation board in the mail from China a few weeks ago and I've been playing with it and uh, putting, taking out the ESP and putting it on breadboard and seeing what it can do in either environment and uh, right now I've, I'm going to show you some of the functions of the evaluation board along with the Blink sketch that I've made. So this Blink app is uh, I found it useful for interfacing with the ESP8266 and uh, at the same time I've got it hooked up to a one meter strip of APA 102 LEDs which are the same as Adafruit's dot star LEDs and in fact I am using the Adafruit dot star library with the uh, Arduino IDE so I'll go ahead and show you what I've got uh, working at the moment so in the Blink app I've I put the uh, appropriate GPIO pins associated with the different LEDs, so the 12 is with the blue LED. So you can see that uh, communicating. I've got the green LED on 13, red LED on 15, the buzzer is on GPIO 5, the white LED is on 14. There it goes and the relay is on 16. So my tablet is kind of flaky with its Wi-Fi. The phone is a lot quicker uh, and you can you can really get it to respond quicker with the phone. But uh, I'm filming with the phone so that's why we were looking at the tablet today. So in order to try out the uh, the dot star capability or the APA 102 capability, I use some other GPIO, GPIO pins. I used uh, IO2 for the data and IO4 for the clock. And uh, what I've done is I use some virtual pins. So it, the virtual pins can pass in some information from Blink into right into the Arduino app or the sketch. And so I've got it passing in um, values from 0 to 1023, I think. And so we can see it, uh, some yellow mixing with uh, red and green together. So that's making yellow appear on the mason jar here. So if I take those down a bit and bring in some blue, come on, blue. There we go. You can see a lot of blue. They're full, full on blue. And the other thing I did was a, uh, I got a delay in there so you can shorten up the delay. Right now it's kind of in the middle. So if I make that shorter, you can see the uh, test code is running faster. If I make it really short, it becomes epileptic and it's not fun to watch, but maybe good for a party. So there you have it. Um, the evaluation board also has a uh, temperature and humidity sensor that it comes with. I got the DHT. 11 that comes with the board, but I swapped it out for the DHT22 because it's more accurate. And uh, the eval board also has these two buttons that I haven't shown you, but uh, I think it's a good way to test out your ESP8266. Of course, it comes with the USB interface chip that's a CH340, and uh, um, I found it pretty useful, except for the, the dip. This dip switch is kind of cheap, cheesy, and I kind of have to put some of the switches in the middle to get them to turn on. So uh, if, if you're having trouble with the dip switches, maybe just try putting them in the middle or fiddling with them a little bit. And I will copy and paste this code and put it on Pastebin. Alright, cheers.